the bigger your dream is, I want you to understand the harder the grind. I told you, I want you to think about those goals. I want you to taste them. I want you to, I want, I want you to be, I want you to internalize it. I'm not asking you to tell me what your goals are because I'm interested in hearing everybody in the room. I couldn't, I couldn't possibly do anything with it. Listen to me, this is what I'm telling you. I'm telling you to dream your dream because I want you to feel it. I want you to taste it. I want you to know how close, I, I want you just like when the weather is changing, you can feel it. I want you to be able to feel when you're getting closer to it and closer to it. But more importantly, I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you said to yourself, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be the president. You're not the only one that wants to be the CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You got to outgrind them. You got to get up earlier. You got to stay up later. You got to execute and you got to go from seven. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. So I need you to understand something. You can have it if you want it. But the bigger the dream, the bigger the dream, guys, the harder the grind. And can I be honest with you guys, I'm grinding harder now than I've ever grinded before. You gotta be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you're gonna have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want it. You gotta want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. If dreams were easy, everybody would make them happen. The problem is that most people, I watch most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. I'm walking through the airport running almost. I, most people that I'm with, they don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. You can't, some stuff is just, you gotta be powerful. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take two, 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're going to forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You got to touch. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to feel it when it's not tangible. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You got to be possessed with the tree. You can't get to the next level because every time somebody draws something in front of your face, you give up. Don't you know you're more attractive when you can say no, when they know you got values? The problem with some of you, you've been told that you're the best and now you shining in it. Now you shining in it. Now you looking in the mirror like I'm number one. And let me tell you something. I don't know if I'm number one or not, and I won't know. I won't go look at that list. Why? Because I'm too busy grinding. And some of you should be busy practicing, and you staring at yourself in the mirror. And I'm not stopping to talk to you because I don't have anything to do. I'm stopping and talking to you because I value you. But the problem is, you don't value you. The problem is, you don't value your gifts. You don't value your time. You don't value yourself. And so we're going back and forth and you asking me, what should I do? Because what I know is if you make a good one or a bad one, once you make a decision, the dream is that much closer.